Hi, this is Peter Stanley. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to take a look at the Green Joy Home Grow Box. This is actually the box that was inside of the box, so it came in a much larger box. So I just want to tell you up front that they sent this to me for free to do a review. Okay, so this is the box that's inside of the box that was inside of the box. This is the actual product box. So it came very, very well packaged. To me, uh, it looks a lot like um, kind of a competitor in the same market as like the, or the larger air garden inside the farm, maybe like the bounty size. These are a little bit bigger than the bounty, but it's got um, about the same uh, lighting power on the on the light panel, but it's a little larger grow deck. So it supports up to like 16, 15 or I think it's 16 plants. Okay, so we got uh, product instructions, installation instructions, and cultivation instruction. Some of the different parts these I believe are parts that grow go to the grow deck. And these are probably the like the baskets. I believe this is the germination tray. Tweezers and things that you can place your seeds in the germinating holes. I think this is mounting brackets here. And this is something to snap it to the wall. And this really only recommended if you're stacking it. You can stack these up to four high. So if you're not stacking it, you really don't need that. So this looks like part of the grow deck, which I think comes in two parts. There's actually 15 grow sites. I said 16. Okay, so let's give you an idea of the grow deck size. Those together there. This is the light panel, LED. They've got half on this side, half on that side. Uh, these are attachment points for the columns, support columns. That's how the top looks. So yeah, this is the reservoir, very large. It's got uh, numbers to show where each of the columns, respective columns attach. And these are the support columns and the numbers there correspond to the, the reservoir base where you attach those. So these will go in the respective corners and then the light head part attaches at the top. So this looks like the uh, power adapter and this looks like the pump and that's attached to this. The, or the power connects to the hood and it comes with its own nutrients it's like a two-part a and b type system so you would mix these separately that's how those look so first we install the columns then we place the pump place the led panel on top snap that into place there's one goes to one so we should just be able to snap that down into place like so there's here Up, I believe it goes right here where the it's indicated the suction cup holds it in place and I forgot to mention that this also has a built-in fan right there which is really cool something the air garden doesn't have but be really nice if they did so this lines up where the power connector matches that just follow the instructions you position on top and then they just kind of snap into place um, one thing with this system, it's not adjustable height, so it wouldn't be ideal for tall plants growing peppers long term or tomatoes, unless they were more like dwarf size. It'd be excellent size for any kind of herbs and greens. It'd be really good for peppers and tomatoes starting plants, but you'd have to transplant them out at some point. Okay, from the grow deck to the light panels, about 10 inches, and the grow deck itself. It's about 12 and a half inches by uh, almost 20 inches, like 19 and a little over 19 and a half. The whole unit itself is uh, right at about 2 feet wide by 15 inches by about 15 inches tall. I'm going to try to give you a comparison between this and the Aragorn and Bounty, which I happen to have. Just show a quick comparison between the Aragorn and Bounty and the Greenjoy. Much larger footprint. About the same powered hood, but the hood on the bounty is in a smaller footprint. Much smaller grow deck than the Green Joy. Smaller number of grow sites, it only has nine. This has 15, and these are larger and more spaced out. This looks like a deeper reservoir, but it's actually about half the capacity, maybe even less than half of the Green Joy's reservoir. The advantage of the bounty is you can raise this up pretty high, like 24 inches, but you can't adjust the height 
on this. So there's some pros and cons between the two, but I think this is probably the closest competitor that Air Garden has to, to what the Green Joy system is. So the uh, baskets fit in there are two parts. This is the main piece fits in like that, and the smaller part that holds the plant fits in like that. But I'm not ready to actually run this yet because I've got to germinate the seeds. All right, so I'm going to do the germination setup next. And the instructions are pretty clear. All this is going to go back inside this plastic bag once they're set up. But these are the individual, kind of see how they flex out. So when they're germinated, these will break off and go inside the little growing cups that go into the green joy system. Place this in the tray and then fill it up until it just barely, if, well, until it soaks, it's not floating anymore. And to where it's barely at the level of the bottom of the indention. There's a, some pictures on here that show that. First, I'm going to make up a little grid. There's 20 of these, so I actually have some extras because the system holds 15 plants. So I'm just going to draw out a grid, five by four grid, and then write what I put in each one. So I have that as a reference. So when these sprout, I know what they are. So this is going to represent that. I need to put a little, maybe a little dot to indicate that's the top. Let's see, so we'll do rosemary. I'll do some Indian lemongrass. White sage. Lemon catnip. St. John's wort, broadleaf sage. Okay, so I'll need to double up some of these, double this bottom row. And if the extras sprout, then I can move them to something else. Right, so it tells you the water level. You can see there. So we need to first place the sponges in the tray, which I've got. Add water till the sponges suck thoroughly. And it says basically to fill it half full. Okay, these are ready. I'm just going to go through each of these and place the seeds. Got all the seeds placed. I deviated from the instructions. Um, I just put several seeds per indention but the product instructions for the green joy say to just do one um, i'm gonna have a lot of extras but i'll just pick out the ones i don't want uh, some of those you would kind of want extras anyway chives for instance see so notice it's halfway so it's not overflowing the seeds but it's enough to touch the where the seeds are touching it's moist and the bag acts as like a humidity dome so this is the bag that came in you don't fill the reservoir yet until you're ready to transplant. So that's so why I haven't done that yet. But I am going to plug this up, see how the light looks, and I'll do a quick power test. Okay, so I'm going to plug it into this kilowatt tester. Yeah, that was the right one. So watts. Yeah. So it's advertised as a 45 watt light, but it's only drawing 19.2, around 19 watts. So this light indicator, I think blinking is a low level. Water, so I don't have any nutrients in here yet. And I believe it's an, on a red in the docks, it's an automatic timer of like 16 hours, 16 or 18 hours on. But that's, I think it's from the time that it's plugged up. So it'll stay on and um, automatically turn off. Okay, so it's been about a week since I started these. And this is the chart that corresponds to the cells here. So I've got the uh, lemongrass has both come up, some white sage, a little bit of the lemon catnip, nothing on the St. John's wort. Got some broadleaf sage. Here is mint, those are starting to sprout. Chives, sweet basil. Can't really see, but there's a dill there coming up. Nothing yet on cilantro. A little bit of the rosemary. Globe basil is coming up. Thyme is sprouted. Oregano is sprouted. And nothing yet on the parsley. So most of these have started sprouting, but they're not to the point of transplant yet. The instructions say to wait until they have full leaves and the roots are coming through the bottom. 
So it'll probably be at least another week. Okay, so it's been about another week since I showed these. Most of these have come up. A few of these didn't. The um, St. John's Ward didn't. And one of the lemon catnips. And the cilantro didn't. Most everything else did. So I revised my actual planting chart to match what's in the Green Joy. And so that's what I'm going to do. It's mostly what I've got here. But I've had a few that didn't come up. And then I had a few extras of some of the others. So, so I doubled up the white sage and lemongrass. And everything else just kind of went the way it way it fell here. So um, so now we're ready to mix the nutrients and get it turned on and transplanted in, into the little cups. I'll basically break these cubes out, put each one in one of these cups, put that in one of these, and they'll fit down in, into the deck here. So first I'm going to go ahead and get the nutrients mixed and then I'll put the deck back in place and get these transplanted. So this is a two-part nutrient mix. So we've got A and B and Greenjoy instructions say to mix four liters. Uh, so add four liters of water and then add 40 milliliters of mix A. Then add four more liters of water then add 40 milliliters of B. So four liters is roughly not exactly but it's pretty much a gallon so i'm going to try to make it a little easy maybe cheat and just empty a gallon jug mix in 40 milliliters of a mix in another gallon jug of plain water and then add in the 40 milliliters of b this measures to 30 milliliters so i'll do 30 and then 10 more using their cup Okay, so I've got all these transplanted. I'll go ahead and turn this on and uh, do another power test and see how this looks. So it's actually pulling close to 40 or 36, almost 37 watts. So that's what Greenjoy said, that it does run at half power when it doesn't have nutrients in it. So that's how it looks wide open. Okay, so it's been about um, three days since I did the initial transplant and so far everything looks good um, I ended up raising the nutrient level just a little so that it barely touches the bottom of the sponges because some of these are transplanted prematurely you're supposed to wait until the roots grow down about an half an inch or so so it would touch the solution at the eight liters of uh, level so uh, since some of these were ready and some were a little a little early I'd raise the nutrient level so I just mix up some more to bring it up to where it barely touches the sponge so that way it can wake up and let the roots grow down so I think that should be fine they, they look healthy um, at first I thought the pump wasn't working but it actually does work right now it's off I contacted Greenjoy because I thought it wasn't functioning but they responded back right away and let me know that it actually just runs intermittently it's designed the way it doesn't run continuously and then i saw where it was coming on and off so that actually works the way it's supposed to they've been really good about answering all of my questions and providing support for anything i've, I've had any concerns about been a really good experience so i'm going to let this go for uh, about 30 days or so and i'll show you an update on how all these look i think they're going to do very well so far everything on it works as it's designed to work i appreciate greenjoy sending me this to try out looking forward to posting an update on the progress on how these are doing so anyway i hope you like that thank you very much for watching please like comment and subscribe